thought I'd show you a quick little mod that I'm doing. Uh, as you can see, the uh, CBR has no windscreen because I'm currently, we'll walk out here, I am currently plasti dipping the inside of it black so that I can have a, you know, completely blacked out windscreen. Uh, mainly because I uh, don't have the money to get the uh, zero gravity windscreen that I want to get. So this is a temporary, you know, kind of workaround for me for aesthetic reasons. Um, a permanent solution would be to paint it, you know, with the, uh, the spray paint for plastic. But since I don't want a permanent solution, since I'm not after a permanent solution, I'm just going with the good old uh, black Plasti Dip. So that uh, down the road, if I decide I don't like it or if I want to change it, I can always just uh, peel it off. So I'll uh, show you guys when it's done. i got to hit it with another coat here in a little bit. So. Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> Back here on day three of the Plasti Dipping, the CBR windscreen. Uh, so what I did was I uh, went ahead and it's dry and I went ahead and reinstalled it. So I don't know if you can see in there, I mean, it's kind of dark, but uh, that's the point. And wow, there's a cop. But uh, so there's the result. Wow, and I know there's a glare. There, I can stand in front of the glare. So yeah, took my, oh, and there's still a glare, damn it. But, uh, so I took my stock clear windscreen, hit it with the Plasti Dip on the other side, and as you can see, it is blacked out now. So, looks, actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. So, and since I don't have the money to get the uh, aftermarket windscreen that I want yet, uh, this is my workaround. So, um, it's really simple, like I said, I just, uh, Took the take the mirrors off and then take the uh, there's six screws and then uh, you can pull these out and pull the, the windscreen just comes out there is up underneath here down here here uh, focus focus there we go uh, right there there is a couple there's these rubber grommets on the bottom side and these here that hook into the uh, other part of the fairing word uh, they were a little tricky to try and get out, so, um, but once I got it out, like I said, it was just a matter of uh, windexing the 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 the, vi or the windscreen down and hitting it with the uh, hitting it with the plasti dip, which I said I, I did it once. But the beauty of it is, if you screw it up or you don't like it, you can just literally you just you just do like a you just kind of rub it and it'll tear a little bit, and then you can just peel it off in one big sheet. Wow, and that glare is horrible. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I did. Uh, like I said, you know, can't afford the, the full-on, you know, aftermarket, you know, double bubble windscreen that I want. So this is my $6 workaround for the time being. So, yeah, uh, you know, give it a shot if you guys like it. Like I said, it's totally not permanent. Um, if I were to, down the road, sell the bike and I wanted to put the stock windscreen back on, and you didn't want it blacked out, you can literally just peel it off and it's clear again. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. And, uh, yeah, so, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, you know, all that stuff. Subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, stay safe out there.